In today's video we're going to code these xenon lamps onto this R50 generation mini. If you've replaced the headlights from halogen to xenon or replaced your body control module, when the engine is off the headlamps will work fine, but you may experience this hyper flashing once the engine is running and in this video we're going to show you how to alleviate this problem. So we'll assume that the headlights are fitted and this coding will work even if the leveling system and washer system aren't fitted. To begin with we need the right tools for the job. So firstly we're going to need a K plus DCAN USB cable and a working copy of both NCS Expert and NCS Dummy on a compatible laptop. So the next stage is to connect the K plus DCAN cable to the car's OBD port. On the R50, 52 and 53 models in the UK this is in the driver's side footwell. Once connected we need the ignition on engine not running and we can then connect to a laptop running NCS Expert. Before loading NCS Expert make a note of these phrases. They translate basically to read and write and it's easy to make a mistake. And NCS Expert is set to write by default. So pause the video or take a screenshot to prevent an accident from happening. So now we're going to load NCS Expert and we need to select a profile first of all. So we're going to go to file in the top left hand corner and select load profile. Now I use the revved as NCS expert profile, but you can use whatever works for you. Just push okay. Once it's loaded, we then push F1, which will then bring us into a separate screen, which means the options along the bottom will change. And then we need to pick F3, which will ask us for the chassis that we are working on today. Now R50, R52 and R53 are all R50 generation cars, so we need to pick R50 and push OK. We then need to choose an ECU so that EWS is fine, we'll push OK again, and then it will load details for your car that you're working on at the top of the screen. Once these are loaded, you can push F6 and that will take you back one screen. And once you've done this, it will then show the modules that can be coded to the car. So we then push F4 to pick the module that we want to be looking at today which is the body control module. So we pick BC1 and then push OK. And then it will come up with a separate menu after this, which we'll push OK on again. We don't need to change anything on there. Now at this point, we need to change the job type because SG Kadiran is right. So we need to push F2, go to SG Kadiran, change it to code a data lesson or read only, and then push OK. And that will update the job name in the center of the screen from SG Kadiran to code a data lesson. Once this has been done, we're going to push F3 and execute the job. And when it's been executed, it will say coding ended. At this point, we can come out of NCS Expert for now, because we're going to go into NCS Dummy. So what we're going to do now is open NCS Dummy. And we need to find our FSW PSW trace file. So we set the chassis to R50, up the top here, the module, I'll normally select BC1.C07, the latest one they've got on there, but you may need to change through these until you find the one that's compatible with your file, depending on the age of your car. And then we're looking for the trace file that we've got. So normally this would be on your C drive, if you're using a laptop. NCS expert file work folder and then it's there fsw underscore psw.trc we're going to open that so this is the file that we've taken off of the car itself and at the moment this is set for halogen lighting and we want to make it for xenon now this is working on the basis of the fact that you haven't fitted the leveling system or the washer system and it is just literally a change from halogen to xenon with a manual headlight adjust that you would find on a halogen car. There are options on here to add in the leveling system if you want to. Uh, and if that's a video that people would like, then obviously they can leave a comment below and we'll cover it off in a later date. So at the moment, this is literally just for a demonstration. So we're going from halogen to xenon with manual headlight adjust. So we're going to look for a couple of files first of all. So what we need to do is by bringing it into NCS Dummy, it translates some of the German. So the hot monitoring of low beams, we need to turn that one off. 
so it should be nicked active or not enabled. We need to keep going down and we're looking for a file that says cold monitoring of low beams and that needs to be not active as well. The next one we're looking for is a so this one here AL OSB KL50 which is low beams off when starting engine that needs to be set to not active and then we keep going down and there will be one that says Xenon test which is there and we need to activate that one that needs to be enabled now for some people they could save uh, export this and load it in and it would be absolutely fine for others you may find that you need to update the PWM which is the pulse width modulation now this will be in the purpley section underneath all of this so if we go down to here it's the first comment on there so it's PWM ostering.al this pulse width moderation control of low beams uh, this may be selected as one if it's selected as one it may not work so what we want to do is put it to two and then once we put it to two, we just export. So we're going to export this file as an fsw underscore psw.man file. And that will export that back into your work folder. That's fine, just means it won't load up again when we start. And now if we go into our NCS expert folder. Is on here. So we go back into our work folder, and what you'll see is this one here is updated. So now it says fsw underscore psw dot man, but you see the time has changed. So this is the time that we have down here. Three thirty. It's three thirty. And then what we're going to do is load that one back into the car. So now we know that our FSW PSW.man file is in the working folder, we can go back into NCS Expert and we need to change the job by pushing F2 from Coda Data Lesson to SG Kadiran. So once this is updated in the middle section to say job name, SG Kadiran, we can then push F3 and execute the job. This will take longer to write than it does to read, so it will probably take 10, 15, 20 seconds. But once it says coding ended, that should have updated to BCM. So this is the first start of the vehicle since the BCM was updated. So the car needs to be running to make sure that the lights are not hyper flashing. And as you can see, they were working okay. Now there are some caveats along this uh, and also this video, you do this at your own risk. Obviously coding the BCM, it is easy to make mistakes. If you have a pre-2007 car, I believe you can run Xenons without washers in the UK, but you'll need to check with your local MOT station and also the leveling system won't be fitted to a halogen vehicle. Now, there are plenty of retrofit kits available on eBay where a leveling system is not included, and I am assuming uh, that they will be manually adjusting the headlights to make sure that the aim is okay. It's maybe worth parking your vehicle up against the wall prior to installing the Xenons, marking them out, and then doing the same thing afterwards to make sure your aim is good. Uh, aside from that, if you found this video useful uh, or helpful it'd be great if you could subscribe share comment below if you want further coding videos or mini content and finally thanks for watching